Oh, yep, I'm on, the, I'm on the curb. Is there anything right here for me to hit? That's what I'm wondering. There is, there's a freaking mailbox right there. All right guys, we are in Pleasanton, Texas right now, about to deliver at the tractor supply. I will put the uh, satellite on screen for you guys. If you look there at the building, the big white building, at the bottom right, that is where I think that the dock is going to be because you know the front is the car parking lot the side you can tell they have like storage areas for stuff outside and then that is the only logical place to me that there would be a dock turn right at the traffic light then take the first left oh god i thought that was like one way or something when that car came through there it looked weird that was a weird uh thing we have to take a left here now turn left at the traffic light Oh, come on, traffic light. My GoPro isn't going to make it to the backing. Anyways, if that is the spot, it does look like I'm going to have to street back it. So what I did was I manually put my GPS to bring me up that way to where the street back is going to be on my driver's side. Because the GPS actually had me going down. Turn right on West Oakland Street north to south which would have put it on the blind side and i would have had the blind side street back it um so yeah it shouldn't be that bad i do like that it's this early in the morning though uh i like the early morning tractor supply deliveries because if you do have to street back or do anything you know in the lanes of traffic it's usually not that bad this early in the morning so yeah i have another gopro battery charging right now so if it does die, maybe I can change it real quick. But if I'm in the middle of backing, I'm not probably just gonna stop to change my battery. Now, I hope you guys like me putting the pictures up here more. You can kind of get an idea of what I'm looking at before I get there and kind of like what my thought process is before I get there. So you kind of understand, I guess, uh, a little more of what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. I don't know. Where the hell is this Comanche? Turn left on Comanche Lane. Huh? Oh, here it is, right here. Wow. That is a weird road. That is a hard road to see, man. I could not see that thing at all. Oh, whoa, 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 Dave. Whoa. Easy, easy, easy. I saw it was a bump. Arrive at coordinates on the right. All right. I had to go slow down that. I mean, I went slow to start, but it was a little worse than what I originally imagined. I need my high beams, dude. I can't see anything. All right, so as you guys can see, we're coming down that Comanche right there. And then this was not a good road for a truck. I mean, I looked at it on the satellite. It, you know, it wasn't like anything crazy, but I didn't realize how bumpy it would be either. Nobody coming, nobody coming. Now we need to take this wide because this is actually a pretty sharp Riding turn right here. Arriving at coordinates on the right. <laughs> Arriving at court. Oh, see, there's a truck there already. Oh, no. Yep, there's a truck there. That's that's US Express. They do a lot of uh, tractor supply as well. I'm going to have to wait until he gets out. I don't know. I go look at the backing situation, I guess. Um, all right. Well, guys, um, I'm here. <laughs> Yes, I am. All right, now CFI knows that I'm here. And I'm on time. Um, yeah, but we're gonna have to wait for US Express. I'm gonna go look at the situation uh, and see if that other dock, if I'm able to back into there or if I need to wait for him to finish. I don't know. They can probably park here too, is the thing. So if his delivery's not until later, he might have to move so then I can deliver. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. He might not have a, a 5.30 or 7.30 appointment. I got a 4.30. So, I don't know, guys. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to change my GoPro battery, go walk up there, I guess talk to him, see what time his appointment is, and see if I need to get in or not. All right, guys. So, I want to show you guys what I'm looking at here. This is going to be an interesting back because we are going to have to street back it, and there is a dock door next to him. This place actually has two dock doors. Thing is, I don't know if the tractor supply wants me in the one next to him. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm looking at here. I'll show you guys kind of the deal. Whew. I think he's in his sleeper because uh, 
he's not sitting in the seat or I would have asked him. But yeah, so basically I would have to street back up here, um, pull up, back straight back, and go next to him. Um, which is fine, I can do it. Um, it's not a problem. It's gonna take a little finagling and stuff, but that's kind of what I'm looking at, if you guys can see. Uh, but then I'd have to pull all the way back out of the spot anyways to open my doors whenever tractor supply was ready for me. So I wish I, wish I knew what I could do right now and since it's still early i'd like to do it when there's no traffic coming up and down this road which there might not be a lot of traffic on this road anyways it doesn't seem to be a busy road which is good but yeah i just don't really know what i should do i mean maybe i should sit here until somebody from tractor supply can tell me yeah go ahead and back into that door because maybe they tell me to move anyways maybe uh the door's not open so i don't know it's kind of a fun back though i kind of want to do it i'm kind of interested to do it it's just a little different you know come in off the street and get over to the left uh to my left here next to that truck would be pretty cool i don't know i i think i'm just gonna go ahead and back in i don't know at least that way i'm there and if they do unload him first once he leaves then i just you know up and back if they want me in that door or maybe they use both doors i don't know maybe maybe they do we're gonna back in anyways. It ain't gonna hurt to do it, and it's gonna be fun. All right, guys, I just changed my battery. I got 44 on this battery now, so here we go. I saw a car over there. I was like, he ain't turning down the street, is he? Because, uh, all right, so we wanna keep as wide as we can here, because we're gonna wanna start with our trailer as close to here as we can. Okay. This is, this is gonna be a fun one, guys. It really is gonna be a fun one all right stay right here we're gonna pass it up a good ways Whew. all right start turning up try to get that trailer pointed to the spot I guess Let's see if that's good or not. I might have to readjust here, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, Dave. See, I'm not gonna be able to straighten out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, I'm on the, I'm on the curb. Hop that back down off the curb and let's keep pushing it straight back. Okay, can I straighten out now? Is there anything right here for me to hit? That's what I'm wondering. There is. There's a freaking mailbox right there. mailbox right there once we clear that mailbox there's nothing else so that's what we're gonna try to do oh there's a car coming that's freaking lovely I don't want to take out that mailbox is what I'm most worried about nope I ain't gonna get it here all right come on car come on car come on car they were trying to be nice but <laughs> all right let's try this again see i'm a bit too jacked to be able to correct it because of this mailbox yeah i'm not gonna be able to correct this at all I'm too jacked. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm gonna have to come back around and try this again, actually. Let me let me try this, actually. <laughs> let me try to come over here. And then back up so then my trailer is closer to the uh the street 
I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do here. Oh, this is actually a bit. If my street's closer to if my street, if my trailer is closer to the spot, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? Because of that turn, it had me kind of jacked up. And now traffic stop. I swear, nobody came down this street the whole time I was sitting there, and then two people come down the street when I'm uh, trying to get this in there. All right, let's see if we can do this now. There we go. Now that my trailer's a bit pointed better, I'm pretty sure that I can do it. <laughs> Let's give myself a lot of room up front. Let's not get so close to up there. Do you see what I'm saying? Give me a little bit more room up front to just guide it in there. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what old Dave's gonna try here. Give myself a little bit room up, more room up front and slowly get her in there. That's the plan. Slowly get it in there. See, I gotta jack it too much again. That's the problem. Once it starts rolling back into there, I'll have all the room up front, which I think I got it now. Come on. Come on, don't hit that mailbox, Dave. That damn mailbox right there. I think I got it now. Yep, yep, we got it. We got it. Yes, that mailbox right there, man, was a pain. Okay, we're gonna have to pull up because we're going dead at his truck. So we're gonna have to pull up as far as we can. Oh, I think I got it now. I think I gotta try to get my one more time to the left see what I'm saying now it's gonna open up for us there we go now it opens up for us okay now get it a little bit more to the left and guess what we are in there boys holy crap that was rough was a bit of an iffy one boys <laughs> that was iffy for old Dave but I got it I just had to get the angle right I knew I I always know what I have to do I just mess it up I, mean, I don't mess it up I just you know I, I mess up my angle and I realize it and then I gotta pull up and fix it so it's the way she blows sometimes Well guys, we are in the spot. <laughs> All right, well, we're here now. Now we just gotta wait for Tractor Supply to come out and tell either one of us what to do. <laughs> Hopefully they're not like, oh, well, actually CFI's first, so US Express, you gotta move, but it would be much easier now. Because now, if he, if he was to move, then I just literally just pull up really hard to the left and then back to the right and then guide her back in. It'd be super easy, but. That was definitely a fun one, guys. That was fun. <laughs> Just as I said, boys. He has to uh, get out the way because uh, they're wanting to unload me first. So, what's he doing? Oh, he's trying to turn left. <clears throat> Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, he's got to get out of the way. I guess, dude, I'm going to need more room than that, bro. Well, 
was about to say, I'm gonna have to pull up quite a bit to make this. He was trying to make his turn. That's all he was trying to do. Come on, truck, go. Trying to get up this hill. <laughs> all right, so we gotta pull it as far to the left as we can. Then back to the right. back to the left again <sighs> all right all right there we go now let's pull up one more time there we go all right now let's get under it Still gonna have to open the doors too. up let me go get these doors open for this guy all right guys super super nice guy out there he was like I didn't even know you were sitting over there next to that truck he said when, when did you come in I was like I don't know about 30 minutes ago or something he was like oh okay <laughs> uh, he said yeah I tried to wake that other guy up for about 10 minutes I was beating on his door I was like yeah it's like I knew I was the early one I said uh Make sure my trailer is straight to that dock i think it is i said i knew i was the early one i didn't know what time he was am i straight i don't know if i am or not i think i am yeah super nice guy though he's like i'll go ahead and get you unloaded because you're my partial one so it'll be pretty quick and i gotta get out of the truck guys so uh yeah, so we're good to go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get out the truck and I will be back with you guys in just a little bit. All right guys, so we just got out of Tractor Supply and we are now on our way to Corpus Christi to another Tractor Supply. And yeah, that's probably gonna be in the next video. So there you go. But yeah, the guy was saying when I pulled up, he was like, uh, he was like, I spent like 10 minutes trying to wake that guy up at his door and I didn't even know you were on the other side. My truck was, Turn he didn't even know it was there. West Oaklawn Street. And that driver said there's another truck over there because I, I don't know like how that came up, but the, the guy told me, he said, yeah, when I finally got him to wake up, he was like, oh, there's another truck over there. <laughs> uh, he was like, oh, he's like, well, that's my partial load. Because the thing was, is I was just a small partial load. Most of my load is going to Corpus Christi. So he wanted to go ahead and get me out of the way before he took that full, you Before he took that full U.S. Express truck, South Main Street. I was making sure I had that. Uh, before he took that, but yeah, he wanted to make sure he got the partial guy out of the way before he took a full U.S. Express truck, which makes perfect sense. You know what I mean? Because I would take 20 minutes. That's all it was—20 minutes, man. I was standing outside my truck and he was done. So if that U.S. Express had a full load, then I'd just be sitting there just waiting forever. So, yeah, I'm glad he did that because I don't know when that other guy's appointment was. Uh, maybe it was, you know, 5.30. Maybe it was the same time as mine, but he wanted to get me out the way. I don't know, but I ain't complaining. We get out. We get headed to Corpus Christi. And, yeah, that's probably going to do it for this video, guys. Let's take a spin to a foreign place These open highways are calling our name And now it's time for us to escape Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown